Okay, we're gonna try this again. So I'm out here dog sitting. I obviously have not vlogged in like a month and I don't know if this has happened to you. I I think I've just been like so overwhelmed with all of these ideas and things that I want to do that I have just like shut down. Like my brain doesn't work anymore. And so like I haven't washed my hair in days and I haven't put makeup on in at least a week, I would say. But it's really nice outside and dog sitting is nice because um, I'm at my in-laws and they have grass. <laughs> I don't have grass at my house because I live in an apartment. There is grass there, but I feel weird just like sitting outside on the grass at the apartment. Um, but it's been really nice getting outside and like getting in the sun. I've loved it. A couple updates for you. Um, I just got, so talking Invisalign now. Um, can you relax? Babe, lay down. Stop breathing so hard. So my Invisalign. So I went to the dentist and I got my very last trays. So I have... A week and a half left of these trays and then I go to only wearing them at night. Hey. Don't be digging holes. She's crazy. Currently, I decided to go back to the basics, and so I'm reading Business Made Simple by Donald Miller. It's a good one. Um, sorry, there's airplanes out here. And I've watched a probably 10 hours of Modern Family over the last two days. So, you know, life is all about balance. It's great. Everything is fine. This week I have been experiencing like terrible bloating. Like if you guys, if you've been following me for a little while, you know that I have IBS, but I'm determined to not let it be IBS. I think that it's something that I'm eating and, or something. I think it's something that I can fix. So I'm determined to do so. So I just went to the grocery store and I bought a ton of things and I thought I would do a little grocery store haul. Yay! First things first. This watermelon. Beautiful. We'll cut it open and see if it's any good. Um, but I heard when you're picking a watermelon, you want to find the ones with these because it means that it's sweeter or something. I don't know. Um, this was like four bucks. So, this is my own sweatshirt that I already have in my purse. This bag is mostly like produce and stuff. So I got cashews, that's for Denton's lunch. Cauliflower, snacking cheese, mushrooms, potatoes. Lemons, feta, flax seed mill, <laughs> pumpkin seeds, beans, just a mess of other produce, asparagus, kale, lots of celery. Romaine, carrots, and then some seasoning, so that was out of. That's that first bag. That's so exciting. <laughs> Yay. 
Yeah, I found my new bracelet in my car, so that's that. And then this bag is like my heavy stuff, other than my eggs. I got these meats for Denton's lunch. Almond milk. Spinach. Chicken breast. Ground beef. Kinder Light. Bone broth. And then like a ton of cans. 11 cans. So this is all of my groceries for the week. Well, this is going to last me at least a week and a half for the produce. And then like the meat, that should last me a month. And then this is just restocking my pantry. So say two weeks worth of food and it was less than $200. So I say it's pretty good. Super good. To be completely honest, I, I have been on this health journey of trying to figure out what's going on for like four years. It is extremely exhausting and honestly, I'm just like so sick of it that I'm like, I don't even know what else to do. I've been trying really, really hard to figure out the nutrition side of things um, instead of just being severely medicated. But our food here in America is just so terrible. <laughs> And probably a lot of other places too. It's not just America, I'm sure. But like, oh man, I feel like America is slacking. And this part of me feels like it's intentional for some reason. Like, they want us this sick. And that just makes me really sad to have that mindset. And so I've just decided like, doesn't matter what they intend. I just need to find a solution for myself because this is just, it's getting so old. I definitely do not accept being this sick forever. You know, like it's just time to not, time to not be sick anymore. So, Going at it with my food, I think is ultimately the smartest way to do it. Um, I think that that's going to be like the root of everything. And really when I think down to it, um, I don't think I have the best education on nutrition. I did, I did not learn that in school growing up. And I definitely didn't learn that from my parents. Um, and so I am setting out on a quest to learn nutrition and to learn how to take care of myself and ultimately to feel better and to stop being so severely bloated because that's like my main issue is the bloating. Like it's gone down a lot today, but That is not normal. That looks like I'm pregnant and I'm not pushing it out at all. Oh, it's just embarrassing. Like when I suck in, like I typically have like no belly, but when I feel bloated, I get to the point where it feels like I'm like nine months pregnant. It's a lot and I'm just so tired of it. So, Fixing that should be really good. I'm really excited for that. Um, it's just, it's been a lot. And I'm going at this kind of like self-taught. I don't know what I'm doing. And so as I go, I think I'm going to document the journey and document my progress as I go. And so that will be exciting for me to be able to like look back on and see like, okay, this is where I was starting at. And then as I heal and as I learn things, I'll share them with you. And ultimately like 
this has been a problem for a while, but at this point it's like, it's taking all of my energy and it's taking, like, I just don't feel good. So I can't like go do stuff. It doesn't make me want to film. Like, I feel like I'm someone else. Like, I don't feel like it's me in my body. And part of me was thinking that maybe it has something to do with getting off of my birth control because it's been like two months, I would say, without my birth control. And so that could be part of it, just trying to regulate my hormones. But this bloating isn't just exclusive to the birth control. Like, it's it's been years, basically. And so I'm just ready to get over it. So if you've had an experience like this and you found some kind of hack or something, please share with me. Um, because at this point I'm just, I'm going back to the basics. I'm not going to like fully track my macros, but I'm going to pay attention to the macros. I'm paying attention to the ingredients in my food. I'm going to eliminate seed oils. I'm going to eliminate, I'm going to try and go really low sugar. So like natural sugars. So like fruit, but I'm really going to try and eliminate like breads and pastas and I know I'm not gonna be perfect but I'm gonna do my damn best okay <laughs> and I think that I'll also like keep a food journal the best I can to like track how certain foods make me feel and honestly I don't know I've gone to doctors and nutritionists and I've had like a colonoscopy and an endoscopy so it's like cameras have been all up in there and there's just been no solution. So this is my process. Um, thanks for watching my grocery haul. It's a little better lighting. All of this food costs $171. So I'm pretty proud of that. My fridge before. This is what everything looks like all restocked. Love it. This is how I organize my, my stuff, you guys, by the way. Got eggs always over here. This is like leftovers. This is my veggie shelf. And then this is like the random stuff, like the extra milks and stuff like that. My cheese drawer. This is stuff I don't really use very often. This is where my meat will go once I like piece it all out. And then this is stuff that I actively am eating or like when I meal prep, so. Not that you asked, I just thought I'd share it with you. So I'm really excited to cut open this watermelon and see what the watermelon is like. Do you want to see that too? Okay. Okay, I'm so excited. I haven't had a watermelon in, I don't know, at least a few years. It's been a few years. I don't know why. I'm always just worried about buying a bad one, but this one looks delicious. Let me see. Oh, also almost one week away from being done with my retainers. This is a really good watermelon. Wow. Love it. Cool. Cool, cool, cool.